Hey guys, my name is City and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2, where what you're witnessing right now is what we implemented in the last episode, our very first passenger route. And it goes from Boston down to New York, straight into Washington, D.C. And we've pretty much set it up to where it is a triple or free city network. And today I want to bring it all the way down into Charlotte. Where from Charlotte, it will then split down into Savannah and then eventually into Atlanta as well. Now, this cost me a lot of money, guys. We all seen it last episode. It cost me an absolute fortune. And I had to delete and destroy quite a few of the cities to kind of get it built. But since I destroyed the cities, they've all kind of bounced back. If I check the charts right now, they're as high as they've ever been. New York went down, obviously. As high as it's ever been. And, of course, Washington, D.C. Let me put him into play mode right now. As high as it's ever been. So, we've, it's actually worked out, you know, quite great for him in the long run. Now, this is going to be quite cr crucial right now. This connection from Washington to Charlotte. Because it's going to pass here. Which we've got the route that goes across there. Now, the reason why this is quite crucial is because when it gets past here, I have to kind of create a T-junction uh, for this train line. And once I've got a bit more money, I'm probably going to sort this out into a tunnel rather than going for the mountains because this is the problem. The trains struggle to get up the hill. And that's going to be the connection to bring the machines and the food uh, into these eastern cities. We're going to try and focus on growing the eastern side of uh, um, kind of uh, America right now. Uh, feed them up, give them the machines, make them cities big and beautiful before we do vast expansions across the rest of America. So guys, if you are enjoying this series and want to see more, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. So this is why this connection is quite crucial because of how we do the T-junction. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to set, or we're going to actually delete a little bit of Charlotte right now to build the train station that passes through. But like I said before, it's quite an important one because this is going to be the hub of where one train line ends and then two other train lines begin. So we're going to make sure that we got plenty of space and plenty of room. Right, so this is how we've been doing it then. We've had it set up where we got like half passenger, half cargo. Uh, we have the bypassing route as well. So when the big cargo trains coming through, they can skedaddle straight past. This is pretty much how we've been getting these all set up. And I want to try and replicate this over here as well. Now, we've got 9.9 .9 million in the bank, which I'm going to quickly pause right now. And we're going to utilize all of this. So, we'll use this road here as being the main runner road. So, I'm unfortunately, Charlotte, I'm going to have to now delete this and this. And hopefully be able to squeeze a station in. So, building-wise, we'll go with the... We'll, we'll, build, we'll always go with the cargo because that has the thicker platforms. Uh, and we'll go for the longer platforms as well, so we can utilize the most amount of space out of these stations. So obviously that will be placed then here, which is going to cost me, um, damn, damn boys. That's going to cost me uh, nearly a million just to delete all those buildings. But if I bring it back a little bit, you can kind of see, oh no, it's not really going to work out. You have to take it on the chin, mate. You have to spend a million and take it on the chin. Not a fat lot you can do. Why is it not being built? Excuse me. I pressed the button. There we go. <laughs> I was waiting for them to kind of build. So that's now in. Now we just need to do a little bit of a decombobulation to get this all connected. So configure then. And we need to turn half the station just down to there uh, into cargo and the other half into passenger. So platforms, we're going to go passenger on this one. Now, I know they can kind of walk in to the cargo building, but I'm still going to squeeze a passenger building in anyway. And we need to make sure in the miscell miscellaneous, we also do the kind of section where they can go underground to the other side of the uh, station too. So get the four train tracks in. Come on, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I've done, I've done one too many pla uh, train, station, uh, train lines there. Right, that's the four now in. Let me just delete this extra one that I didn't need to squeeze in. Uh, and then we'll build it on this side. So it should be a good space for that road to continue up. I will do that. Oh, oh, well, I'll re I will redo that road once I can say the words in English. 
go under the ground there. There we go. Uh, and then we'll get this road coming down. And then we need to figure out what buildings we're going to use to get connected to it. So we'll go with the large street. Oh, actually, you know what? No, we won't go with the large street. Actually, do you know what? I'll build the building first to connect to it. Passenger building. I'll go with this one, and I'm going to put it on the passenger side. Rather than the cargo, because the car it will make it stick out a little bit further than it needs to. And then we'll go from here. Does that connect in? Is that not connecting? What's going on there? Configure. If I delete it. Why is it acting like it doesn't want to connect? There we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> it was acting like it didn't want to kind of connect there. That was kind of weird. Right, anyway. Bringing this right down, we should maybe go on a more of a curve. Just to kind of satisfy the needs of it. And then back on the straight. On the straight and narrow, boys. We'll bring this down. And we do have to kind of create abilities for them to crisscross over. Do you know what? I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to delete that back to the curve. They're not going to like it, but trust me, in the long run, this will be a better method for them. All right, bringing this straight down. So having straight run roads is kind of going to be important. Right, okay, so we've got the station all set up on both sides. All right, we've got the cargo, we've got the passenger. I now just need to set everything all up uh, to give them the ability to do the crisscross and then skadoodle out of here. Now, on the last episode, I played around with this underground section here, which enabled me to create a better version of getting from one side to the other um, without having to do something like what we did in New York, where we have to kind of go further down and pass over. Only downside is the crisscrossing happening happens a lot later. As you can see, it happens here, uh, as opposed to a little bit sooner on. Now, it's not the end of the world. Where's it gone? It's not the end of the world, but it allows the city to grow a lot closer and be a lot more intimate than it would normally be. So let's see what would happen if I did that here as well. So we would want a number of four tracks. There we go. Uh, turn this all the way around, by the way. So four tracks. I need to shorten the length of it. I think we got away with, um, was it like a, it was a 71, which kind of worked out in our favor. And but I want to see if I can go a little bit shorter than that. 69. No, okay. So it's 71 is the perfect number for the slope. So I'll implement that in just there. And then if I replicate it on this side, there we go. So look how much I've shortened the distance now. I can do a road there, road there, and it's like the station doesn't even destroy half the city. <laughs> right, this is the fun one. Because I need to replicate it here, but I've got to do a little bit of terraforming. So we need to flatten the land a bit to give us the ability to do this. I also need to delete this building as well. So that would go in just like this. And then we'll make it pop out a little bit further. So if I rotate this right round, where's the connection? So I'll add that in myself a little bit later because I've got to do the connecting section there as well but let me just get this all up and running so back to the rail again and spin it right round at this point and I'm going to assume that is the connection does that work yes look how perfect that is so then the road can still skadoodle down no issues no dramas you know like nothing ever happened and then we have a road connection there. And then the same thing will happen here. So I pop it back up. All for the, this, the simple purpose of letting the city still be functional. I'm going to assume that's there. Again, perfect. Have your connection going straight through. La dee da. La dee da. I can hear there's a big wagon pulled up at this. I don't know if you can hear the horn tooting right now. But there's a big wagon pulled up outside my house right now, selling fish and chips. If you see an edit in in the video right now, I got I went and got fish and chips. <laughs> right, anyway, 
Right, we'll do this connection further down, but we'll, we'll kind of come back to that in just a moment. So this will now uh, kind of go further out. Oh, oh my goodness me, what happened here? Well, I understand what's happening here is because it comes out of quite a high, a high angle because the way that this is kind of working. So if I kind of flatten to there, which should be fairly easy to do, and then I've got, you've got to bring this down. So where's the snap in this? Just there. Alright, is that the snap? Yeah. Right, and I think just by doing this is now enough. And then we can roll with it. Uh, oh, actually, do you know what? I've got to turn this into a thingy. I just realised what I'm doing here. All right, delete that to there. Because I, I was about to do the whole system in, in four lanes. So I've got to bring this now in. So we'll do it by... We'll do it to the 75. Uh, and there as well. Bring this a bit further out. Uh, and then from there, we'll do a crisscross. There we go. And voila! So, I won't do this side just yet because we're technically not connecting over there. So, there's no need to do that side at the moment until we do move over to going towards... Um, where are the places? Where is it going towards? Uh, Atlanta and then the Savannah area. So we'll just kind of hold out for those. There's no stress. There's no worries. There's no dramas. I don't need to rush just yet. It's just getting this connection up and running. Now that's going to obviously come down here. And it's just there where the crisscrossing happens. So if I bring this a little bit further out to give me a little bit of space. Right. A little bit of space, boys. A little bit of space. And then this one, that's going to come down. All right, trying to get it all snapped straight. All right, is where the magic is going to happen. So all I really need it to do is do a little bit of a T. So I've got that all up and running just there, so I know where we're kind of working with that. So we might as well now get this set up. So that needs to kind of come down and start turning this way. So if I bring, and I don't really, in reality, want to make it go much further than it has to. So I reckon what I do here is just bite the bullet, increase the brush size. Right there. Just bite the bullet and just make it ramp back up straight away. So track constructions. Uh, Got to go this way around, don't I? Right, I think that is it, is it? Yes. And then we've got to do the same here then. So. And it's kind of annoying because of how short we do do it. You then kind of have to slightly raise the land around it. Just so the train tracks don't go all funky on you. Right, that's a there. That to there, to there, to there, and let's bring it a tad little bit further now. All right, I'm doing it in small segments so the gradient's not so harsh. So it won't go any further than the 65, which will take it. There we go. And then from there, we're going to do the crisscross. There we go. And then we can now pretty much run to it. So, we ain't got too far to travel. It'll be nice and simple. So, we'll take it straight and then we'll just start the bend going up. So, bringing this to about there to begin with. Now, this itself, if I wanted to connect it like that and go pretty much straight, that, that, that that's great. Works out really well. But we're going to come across a few issues here. So keeping that snapped in. Oh, hang on. I've got a smoothen. 
All right, get rid of a little bit of you. There we go. Don't mind the terraforming. Bring you to about there. Oh, we're going. All right, to there. And then we'll start the bend just here. Well, that bend's quite harsh as well. So, sticks to 75 going all the way around. And then we'll then bring this, hopefully, along with us all the way, just to there. Right. So, for now, then, we are good to go to extend that train line to now term or start in Boston, go to Charlotte. I'm about to say terminate Charlotte, but it's going to go back as well. Um, so, that line itself... Oh, hang on, I gotta do the signals. Now, I know you guys are loving my signals right now, and I know you guys are loving how much I'm spending on maintaining them. Uh, don't lie. You are in absolute awe <laughs> right now of how good they are. So, you're gonna have to suck it up, okay? You're gonna have to suck up my signals. Right, I do it just before the crisscross, and then I'll make these ones a little bit wider, okay, guys? Okay. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the I'll do these ones just here, and I'll do the next ones at the crisscross, just because I'm going to have to build and create more signals here for this junction. But we'll get onto that at a later time. It's weird how that little bit there, and I suppose this one is is, is more elevated than the uh, the inner ones. That's it's weird how they does that. Uh, I'll just quickly add... Oh, there's no need to add anything there, is there? Because we're not really going in that direction. So, the line then, which is this line here, it goes from Boston to New York to Washington. So instead, when it gets to Washington, I then want it to go to Charlotte. Which, at the minute, there is an issue with the ability to get... To, oh, no, to Charlotte. And then it wants to go all the way back to Boston, but we need to make it then. Is there an issue here? What's the issue? Uh, train 8 is the issue. So obviously it will come down here. And it's going to want to merge itself into there and then obviously go back out. Which is perfectly fine. Uh, so it goes to Charlotte. Uh... Add a new station, and it's going to come back into Washington. I think it's because it's on the wrong side of the, 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 the line, isn't it? Then into New York, and that then should get rid of the issue, right? I mean, it should do. So it comes out of there, then it's on the other side of the platform as it goes up. So from Lower Charlotte to Washington, which it should be on Washington here, which is platform one yes so what's the issue then i can actually put this back into play mode now can't i so where's the train ah oh, okay because it was going to turn around and go back so if i then flip it that way and then flip it back again it's now going to go to charlotte Okay, it's because it was in mid-route and I updated and changed the route. It didn't quite know what to make of it. <laughs> so that can now be all set up to... It actually is now all set up, going from Boston straight to Charlotte and back. I think that's a reasonable sized route where we make some reasonable sized money. So, interesting. Granted, it's probably not the best train to have for this long distance, but money will eventually fall into our pockets again. We can do some more sweet expansions. So next then, it's all about this. Now, my only issue is, is the crisscrossy there, but obviously we're going to have signals all set up. So there'll be truly no dramas. Um, but I don't know whether to kind of have... Now, this might be... This will be interesting. I know we need to connect this up to get the you know the line coming through and whatnot. Uh, but at the same time, do I bring the food and the machines to a central location that I can then distribute it evenly to the four cities that we currently have set up? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. That might be a good idea. 
The other side of it is, right, I have food over here where you can also utilize to feed some of these places as well. Food over in Charlotte. There's more food place over here. So we've got an abundance of food, but I want to bring the big stuff over. Because right now, if I bought food from the factory over here where we're producing it, trained it all the way down, I'll then bring it into Charlotte and drop it off. Then have I got to go all the way back? You know what I mean? To bring it back again. So what if I what if I created a little bit of a plant here? Um, or I could do it in Nashville. Hmm. Because I'm going to eventually need a train that goes and picks up the food, drops it off to Charlotte. Picks up the food, drops it off to Washington. Picks up the food, drops it off to New York. Now, I could utilize these plants here for these cities there. But I would make so much more money bringing it from Kansas because of the distance it has to travel in. I'm just thinking of the best logical way in terms of distributing it by logistics. Hmm. The decisions... Now, the other side of it is, what carriages handle machines and food? So, if I go cargo here, uh, tankers, so, no, flat, no, boxcars. So, a boxcar can handle the, the machines and the food. So, it could be the same train using the same carriages picking up the same goods. I feel like I need a central distribution hub. I'm like Amazon with my hubs. That's what I'm going to need. That is 100% what I'm going to need. So I reckon... I reckon we should really truly have a central distribution center for the east side. Now, if I did it here... How can I benefit from this? Because i got to think, a train's going to bring the food over. It could pick the food up here and then take it back. But i got to be careful where it distributes it. Or I kind of create a random location. Maybe where... Oh, because that, that train line's got to come down into Nashville. And then where this would then eventually tee into it, I could create a terminal where you drop the machines off and the food off to then take it on, take it on the same train to deliver to the individual cities. That's also a really good idea. Am I jumping too far ahead of myself? You guys can be honest, all right? You guys can be honest. Right, anyway. We'll come back to all that stuff in a minute because this train is now doing the business. Now, ultimately, what I should do... I mean, I don't like that bump, but eventually we'll have faster trains that will be able to, you know, handle the gradient. Um, obviously, the next thing I should maybe do is add either an additional train on this passenger line. So we've always got one going back and forth right now. I need to add another ore route because we've got two wood. I need the second uh, coal and the second ore set up as well. And then we can start bringing the goods all over. So I think what we'll do first then is have a secondary train. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to pull up that line. Or do I manage vehicles? I should really manage the vehicles on that line there. Select this, and if I wanted to duplicate it, I don't have enough money. I'm actually not sure how much money that train costs us. I'm not 100% sure. So I'll wait for a few more things to be dropped off. And then I'll try and duplicate it again. I'll probably go... For, was it like 4.5 or something? I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Oh, that train's not going down. It handled that little bump, okay. So it's gone down to come back up as well. All right, only makes a small amount of money because it's the first time running that route again. Um, there's a the, the coal train now on the way. So having the passenger trains doing multiple routes as well, that will make us even more cash. More often and more free because it's doing more stops. There's another train on the way as well. So we've kind of taken a little bit of bump right now in money. But we should get back onto it in just a moment. So million just coming in right there. There's another train now on the way in. Uh, where's the other train for the passenger? On the way to New York right now. So wait for this to come in. 
because this, this is this has had a, some passages on from Washington before it had to do the kind of uh, the reroute. So a couple of pennies get made just there, which is good. That train's now on the way in as well. I think before I duplicate this train, I also need to look at my food run again over in Kansas. Well, that made some big cash. Can I duplicate in there? No. Right, we'll come back to that in just a moment, because I've no I, I've, in the back of my mind I've been noticing this. I don't know if anybody else has realized how little we now have on these platforms because of the amount of uh, money, well, the amount of cargo that these trains can now carry. I think I've got one too many trains. In terms of finances, there's the odd year where we barely break even. Sometimes you make a loss. So I think it might be a good idea to maybe get rid of one of the trains on these lines or reconfigure what trains we do have on these lines. So manage the vehicles. Now, they're in very bad condition, but let's see what I can do to replace them. So if I replace them with, again, another steam train, uh, and we've got the old train model on there that we no longer have, but if I go for this mogul one and say we added this, I'll replace... What? It's going to cost me how much to replace? Just the engine alone? Do you know what? Forget that. I'll take one train off. We'll sell one train. Yep, we'll sell. Don't really get much money back in return. But it will stop me from having those moments, those, those years where we don't make much cash. One less train means the trains that do pull up right now should be a lot more full. That's what we're hoping for anyway. So we just got to wait for shipment because they're not full, as you can see. Now with the longer pauses between um, stations, the platforms should hopefully start to fill up a bit more. That's kind of what we're hoping for. So like I said, this should start to fill up a little bit more right now. And eventually when we get one good train, we could replace it with one train and do all the job for us. Because some of these routes, we've got one. And there's a, lot, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Right, where's that passenger train anyway? So I expect there to be a little bit of a hiccup in, in revenue right now because I had to reroute it down here. But that's doing this justice. Uh, actually, how much did that just make them? Okay, a fair chunk of cash. Got seven million there in the bank. Okay. Okay. Uh, this platform up here right now should start to fill back up again. Train on the way. Right, let's just forget about that for just a, a hot min. And shall we take a look at setting up the other iron ore route? I think we should. I think we should. So we'll get double ore going in. We'll get double coal going in. And then I think we're, we're pretty much going to be all geared up then to set in this new route up as well. Ooh, a new carriage. Now, is there any need for me to increase this route down here? I don't want to start feeding any of the, the cities just yet because I'm going to destroy them when I kind of build my passenger routes down there. So, this is actual vehicles right now. If we go to manage the vehicles, and if I replace these vehicles, we currently have uh, these puppies on, these steam tarpaulin trucks. Uh, which carry a capacity of six. I can now go to ones that carry seven, eight. Ah, oh, but they don't carry food. And it's a lot of money to replace all of them for additional one. I'm going to hold out for that for just a minute. Right. Let's set up then the extension for this over here. So it should be a pretty straightforward run. So start with the road. So just got to get this to connect like that. And then the actual train construction right now, I just need a side platform. Only needs to have one on it because I'm not going to have anything going past the opposite way just for now. And if I just angle it like this a bit, like that, just because the train line needs to kind of go up and around and then connecting in. That's all it needs to do. So for train tracks... All right, let's end that just for there real quick. And we've got a bypassing section just there. So if I bring that to there. And then ran this forward. There's a little bit of a bump there. It's going to kind of plow through. I want to see how far forward we can make this go straight. All right, destroys that. We are absolute beasts. Right, bring it to there first. Alright. 
smaller segments because we've learned too much terraforming costs us an absolute fortune. Alright, bring it to there. Uh, then these two should then meet. No issues, no dramas. So then from over here, we then literally run this all the way down. Collision? With what? That is so sunken. What's the collision? And with who? Hmm. Something in right, but I think whatever the issue was, it's now kind of gone. So bring that to about there. And then... Oh, new, new flat... Oh, new trucks as well. It's a good job I didn't replace those trucks then, right? All right, bring that there to there. And I'm just going to do my crisscross over on this side. So all we had to do is... We don't need to do one going in from that station. Just got to do a crisscross. I did a crisscross further out. Actually, did I add it? What did I do on this one? Even though we didn't do it, I still added in the kind of connection just in case. It also allows me to space out my crisscross as well. There we go. Quickly drop some signals in. So make sure I got these in the right sections real quick. So I'll just do it to there and to there. Uh, just after. Bam, bam. I'll space these out. Don't worry. Look at the distance right now. I've got these on. I'm getting better. No, I'll do this one's just here. There we go. Right, that's now all in. We can bring some more iron ore over. So, more cash in the bank for us. And a new line. So I know I'm 100% understand. I know I've got to sort my line names out sh shortly. I get it. I get it. I get it. So there to there. Which is going to be quite interesting right now. Because I'm going to have one more than I need. Now line four, five is the Pittsburgh to Chicago. Which is from here to here. Which is the one for the ore. So I'm going to change this to be the same color right now. And so in Pittsburgh, it completely unloads the ore. And in Minneapolis, Northeast, whatever you want to call it right now, all it does is load the ore. So that's what it mimics line five. It doesn't do anything else. That's all it does. That's all it actually does. And we're just going to make sure it's on the the same platform as well. So in Pittsburgh, there we go. We don't have the um, the luxury of doing two sides. So that should be still okay. Goes up to here. Let's make sure everything's all set up right. It all splits perfect. Yes. So I can now buy a train for it as well. So that's, that's going to make quite a lot of money bringing ore from over there down to here. And then we need to set up the second coal route. Then set up a better kind of scenario for connecting this into the tunnel. I might have to... I don't know if it's to kind of do that. And then they're going to have to come around to connect back in or do a short connection. Probably do this one to keep it all uniformed. But... Uh, oh, another carriage there. So let's get a train up and running on this. So I could literally copy the train here. So if I cloned it cancel that I could clone it or make a new one it's the red it's got the red train on which is this one the mogul now for cargo wise I could also utilize this gondola the new style gondola which has a max speed of 50 that has a max speed of 47 so I might as well stick to this because the max speeds 50 cargo wise and the old gondola did 31 New gonglers do 50. Then what, that one carries 70. So uh, that carries 12. So 12 capacity. 
So that there, at 4.8 million, carries two more, but is nearly 20 miles an hour faster because it's not limited by trailer speed. So I'll up this to 84 and call it a day on that. Stick it on my brand new route. Now that's the only train, only cargo train utilizing the new or the, the second level of cargo trailers. So that one's going to be completely different altogether. That's going to be so fast. But there we got a line of trains now coming in. Good old signals are working, boys. The good old signals are working. So this will be interesting. I know there's a there's an ore train there, the iron ore one. So that's going to have to truly wait for this one to kind of leave. But this train's going to go in. I got my coal train coming in as well. So they all they all wait. They all take their turns waiting. So that's now wait for this one to come out. And then that one should go straight in. That one should go straight in. And then this one should be able to leave. No issues. No issues, boys. That's already getting super speedy. Great stuff. So that'll make us an absolute fortune in the long run. That really will. And I just need to bring more coal over. And then we have two woods, two irons, two coals. Now for this, it's pretty much the same as, as what this is set up to be. It's going to kind of come in and emerge in to here. Now, it's not the best variation of what we could potentially do, but we've just got to do what we've got to do. And I don't think, can we even... That's the problem. You can't magically have it set up to uh, come both off the same thing. But because there's only really one train going back and forth, there's not going to be much traffic coming off it. So I reckon I'll be able to get away doing this. Like there. I know they're quite close and standard nearby, but the signals work. The signals do all the work for us. So that's there and there. And obviously there and there. I always, I'm, I'm, You never really need this one, but I always double it up anyway. So the signals will work for us. They will do us all justice. And, uh, you know, no problemos, guys. No problemos. So we'll just quickly get the building set up for the cargo. Which, did I do an end station? I did an end station there. I could do the same for this. And what I'm able to do is bring this road out. It's quite expensive, but nowhere near as expensive as it would be building the station that far out. So end platform, uh, just like this, only half a million, still connects to the mine, which is perfect. And then all we gotta do then with the train tracks is have this one go directly into there this one kind of come into here and then merge in and again with a beautiful beautiful play on the old signals that comes into there and then to there so we just ultimately got to set up a new line again from here to here making sure that they're all on the same route so we'll turn the line to the was it they said it's a black as well like line seven so in Pittsburgh, it needs to be on platform two. Wait, hold on, have we got the right routes here? Oh no, line seven's the passenger route. This has got to be grey. So, uh, a little bit lighter grey. There we go, two grey routes now set up. So in Pittsburgh, all it does is unload the, the coal. And then all it does over here is load the coal. And all it now requires is a train. So hopefully these signals can do the job. This will eventually be a tunnel that goes straight out. But we're pretty much all geared up to pushing it in the right direction. So to buy a vehicle then, uh, Steam, add this mogul right now, add the gondolas. 
So we did the same, 72 capacity, I could maybe go one more. I need 5.3 million, which is ridiculous amounts of moolah. But let's see what this train here brings us. It's the coal train coming in, boys. The coal train. Maybe go to 72. I mean, it depends how far I want to go down. It depends how eager beaver I am right now to make money. There's a wood train coming in. So will that give me the cash money, Moolah? Where's the passenger train as well? Where's that down? I can't even I can't even tell where that is right now. Just waiting for a few more pennies to come in. Wood train's coming in. I might pause as soon as that wood train's done what it needs to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bam, pause. So I can afford this. I'm just going to buy this one just for the sake of having it. And then we're going to put this on the brand new route of line 9. So in reality... Alright, back to having no money again. But in the reality of things, we have geared ourselves up quite nicely. We've extended the passenger line run down to Charlotte, which is absolutely perfect, making more money on that. We'll eventually get a secondary train on that because we do have the passengers to warrant it. We have now two routes coming from the two coal mines delivering over here to the steel plant, uh, which will bring full loads often, which is great. Same for the iron ore, full loads often, which is great. Uh, which will make some serious cash money moolah out of that. Uh, so this plant is going to be overwhelmed with the amount of steel it produces, meaning lots of machines. Same with the wood. Because uh, at the minute it's kind of lacking slightly on the old steel, mate. Right? Uh, but we should start producing a whole lot more with double deliveries. Double deliveries! Uh, which then we can gear up, and I, I know I keep saying it, next episode we'll get the food and the, the machines to the, to the places, but it should make us consistent money where I can set this tier, bring this further out, we're going to create a localized distribution plant, bring the food over to it, the machines over to it, then have a train that then takes it to each city back and forth. And then if I can get that train also to bring some more food back, it can then funnel its way back to the places it needs to go to and other bits and bobs guys until next time i'll see you all soon so yeah.